Hey camera, about a week ago I mentioned the mod mic on Reddit and someone came and told me they couldn't find a demo for it. I tried my Google Foo at it and I couldn't find it either, so I sent an email to the mod mic guys and asked about it. As it turns out, they don't have a demo and they asked for my, my advice. And I was excited as I was that someone was taking me seriously. I put on my game face and gave them my two cents. And whatever I did apparently worked because they offered to send me a mic so I can make a demo myself. As you can probably see, I've got a Zalman mic here too, just to compare it to. I'm recording with uh, both of them at the same time using Audacity. And I'm not going to tell you which one, I'm he which one you hear just yet. I'll switch to the other mic. I'm recording with the latest version of Audacity with two different computers and they're recording at 96,000 hertz. Both mics have all the same settings, the same microphone boost, same volume. Everything's the same. I pretty much tried my hardest to keep the conditions identical between both the mics. And uh I'll put a download link in the description for FLAC files for the recordings for both mics just because uh, uh, YouTube doesn't like to play nice with audio. Now you're probably here because you don't like headsets. You went and bought yourself a high-end pair of headphones like Sennheiser's or Audio-Technica or Denon or Gretto because you care a lot about audio quality. but you don't have a mic that works just like a mic on a headset would. And that's how I that's how I found the mod mic. Now go ahead and tell you now that the first recording was the Zalman microphone and right now you're hearing the mod mic. Uh the mod mic is pretty damn convenient. It's got this nifty little clip. And uh There's not much you can't do by the way of uh, tweaking it so it's in just the right position. It stuck onto my headset pretty well and came with two of these things. I haven't figured out what to do with the second one yet, but I was thinking s stick it on the wall or something so whenever I take the headset off, I can pop it right onto the wall. I don't know. Anyhow, let's see how well the mod mic plays with Mumble's signal to noise processing. Originally I was planning to have someone record me from their side of Mumble and I was going to play that back for you. But I've decided it would probably be better to have Mumble open and show you my settings for it. And uh, then I realized this bar right here will just tell you whether it's transmitting or not. So, I've got everything pretty much at default settings right now, except uh, I'm transmitting with signal to noise rather than amplitude, which means it tries to pick out my voice from background sounds and other kinds of noise and only transmits when I'm talking. I've got pretty much everything in the room pretty quiet, but like you can hear the furnace and I'm sure the mic's picking that up as well. But uh, so far it seems to do a pretty good job filtering out what I say from everything else around me. But sometimes uh, the TV being on in the next room will get picked up or the uh, dog moving or something else like that. It does a pretty good job at not picking up me breathing though. I'm going to... I'm going to sit here and try to be quiet for a, a few seconds so you can see how the bar moves while I'm not talking. So it kind of it kind of moves around a lot. It looks pretty wild, but as long as it doesn't go into the green, it's not picking me up transmitting. Ah, uh, everyone I talk to with Mumble generally tells me that I sound fine and that I don't cut out at all. But, um... I don't know, I mean, it's just... it works. 
I got no complaints. There's one thing that actually bothered me for a minute, though. Uh, if I if I'm listening to music pretty loud on my headphones, it'll the uh, vibration will go right through to the microphone and it picks that up. And I got really worried about that for a while. And then I realized I'm not going to be blaring music while I'm talking to people on Mumble, so it didn't matter. So. After having plenty of time to tinker with the microphone, I would probably recommend it over the Zalman mic. And you could probably argue over the audio quality or anything else, but I just think it's so much more pretty. It's... It does pretty much exactly what you would hope it to do. And I figured out what to use the other magnet for. I've got a metal bar right up under the desk right here, and I use it to uh, clip up the cord. Since it's got these ridges, I can just put the cord in between the ridges and stick it right up there. And when I take off the microphone to set it up, I clip it up here. It's super convenient. Just about everything about this thing is ridiculously convenient, which is pretty much the main reason I would recommend it. The Zalman mic up here... You, you could say it's is convenient, but I don't think so. Because this clip is just horrible. It's not really a clip, you just have to jam your cord into it. If you don't have a thick cord, it just doesn't stick. It scratches up my cord. I don't like that. Anyhow, the uh, mod mic comes with a few things. It shows up in this awesome little tube thing, which I've never seen something like this before. The insides will be like smashed in. And, uh,. Everything's all recycled paper and soy ink. Got your fancy QR code things here. I don't have a phone, so I don't know where they go. So that's cool. And probably about the best thing is that it comes with this little Velcro strap. I don't even use it for the microphone. I use it for my headphone wire, but that's cool too. So, let you decide for yourself whether you, whether you, whether you like the mod mic or not.